All right, so I'm at the official problem baker's house, right? And so I have been known many times to come over here and rearrange and help her out because the girl has no idea how the fuck to do anything. She doesn't know how to decorate. She, I don't know what she does all day long. Now she cooks cookies, but other than that, like I walk in, I'm like, what's going on? Her husband greets me at the door. Hey, and I was like, why are you wearing pink shorts? He's wearing pink shorts, pink fucking shorts, pink. Who wears pink shorts? Real men, I know, whatever. However, you know, I'm, I'm walking in her living room. And I'm like, what is, what's happening? What, what does this look like? This is no feng shui. And she told me there's no feng shui in making cookies. We got cookies everywhere, but we got cookies. It smells, this house smells like a, an edible house. Like you could like Hansel and Gretel, the houses with gumdrops. I walk in, I'm salivating. I already feel diarrhea coming on because of all the cookies that I'm gonna have to eat. So I'm just gonna give you a sneak peek of the bitch at work. Now I'm already critiquing her because it really stresses me out. I don't like her theory, I don't like her antics and I think she's failing as a cookie maker. I'm telling you, I won't tell you all the secrets and what I'm upset with because she might get mad at me. But it smells divine, it smells divine. Um, she uses real ingredients, you guys, real ingredients. There's not no generic shit at all. When we use Oreos, we use Oreos. We don't use those high-ho Cheerio low things. We use product, real, genuine product. That's right, real butter. Everything's real. Real sugar, it's not the fake generic kind at Walmart. It is the real CNH. Um, and the- That's the thing, by the way. I know, I'm just saying. She uses real everything. Again, not generic. Now, let me just give you a little taste. No, you can't taste, but you can't even smell it. What is the purpose of doing this? But this is her famous Oreo cookie. Now, she uses both sides of the Oreos. How you do that, you ask? Yes, I was really stressed out by the whole process. She takes the Oreo apart. Some get icing, some don't. Wow. She yelled at me and she said, it's completely decorative. The cookie is what is eaten. Nobody eats the Oreo topping. Ha! That's not true. I sure as hell do. There's the Oreo. She pre-makes everything. Look at those balls. Now this is balls. Now you want a good size ball, you come see her balls. This is this is like real action. She makes all this shit prior to. I won't tell you her secret because she, she says I'm not allowed to, but she pre-balls her cookies. Now one of those, one of those right there, if it, it could be used in war. It could be used. Like, Ukraine may need these for, you know, rockets, missiles, because those things get, if you got that thrown at your head, man, that is going to take you out. Look at those balls. Now, yes, some of them look misshapen, but they are all the same size. They all weigh the same amount. There is precision with cookie making. Mr. Crumble, what do you have on Problem Baker? That's all I'm going to ask you. There you have it.